Hey everyone, it's your girl Kimmy J from the East Bay and today's more of empowerment is remove the grievance. And the scripture I have comes from Colossians 3 verse 13, which says, bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you have a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And then I want to share the definition of what grievance means. Grievance, a real or imagined wrong or other cause for complaint or protest, especially unfair treatment. And I share this all with you today is because um, God wants to remind us to remove the grievance out of our lives. And on an additional deeper level to it, he wants us to recognize the times when we have grievance, when it's, when it's, um, the size of a pebble or the size of a grain of sand. See, a lot of times we can have grievance and it's very blatant. It's uh, it's right there, right in your face, right? You can see it, you can feel it. It's like it's tangible to you. But God wants, to, wants us to dig a little deeper into it in regards to when we have grievance that's um, the size of a pebble or the size of a grain of sand. And and when we don't recognize that we have it, God will reveal to us in his way and his timing, you know, and um, when he does that, you know, for us to be willing and obedient to remove the grievance, you know, and to, as he says in Colossians 3, 13, bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you have a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And so I had to learn that very teachable moment this week myself. And that's why I share it all with you, because as I learn and grow, I know these lessons are not just for me. It's to help someone else out there. And, you know, also too, because I want to be an example, you know, as a as a um, as a believer in Christ, um, among my co laborers in Christ, because as I'm out there reaching the lost, those who don't know Christ, how is it that I can do that if I'm not applying these scriptures and this leading of the Holy Spirit um, to make sure I don't have any grievance or grievances, you know, whether it's one or many. Um, among those who are in the body of Christ with me, among my fellow brethren. And so I had to learn that lesson. And so just to share with you real quickly, um, I had ran across, my, uh, it had a situation where me and an ex, our paths had crossed. And so, um, you know, he politely said hello and asked how I was doing. And, you know, I responded back and, you know, said hello and, you know, and just kept it moving, went my direction and, and he went his, you know. But what happened was the following day, I um I, I woke up and I was feeling irritated. And, and so what I did was, and I, and I asked myself, why are you irritated, Kim? What is this feeling, this little, you know? And so it was because, guess what? As petty as this may sound, but guess what? It was because um, the person spoke to me because I had specifically asked them not to because when I had initially was going through my healing process when our relationship ended, I, I had a grievance. It was blatant. Uh, I was treated unfairly in this situation. I had a grievance. I, I uh, gave it to God. But guess what? God had to show me that even though the greater portion of my grievance that I released and I gave to God way back when, God showed me you know, you still got a pebble size or a grain, uh, a sand grain size of grievance still in you that I didn't know that I had. And God had to show me that um, through that, through the demonstration of him allowing um, my ex to casually come across my, my path. And so what has happened during this week, God is so good. Can I tell you when I say I meant that thing, when I came back from my girl's trip saying that I was going to push out of me these last two months, everything that that which is within me and grind it out for these last two months to do what God has called me to do, not only in grinding it out and, um, you know, in my work ethics, but even even when it comes to God revealing things that's still in me that I need to get rid of, I'm determined. Everything that God said I'm supposed to do this year, even if it's removing that pebble size grievance or that sa uh, sand size, you know, pebble of grievance, I'm going to do it. OK. And so I meant that thing. I'm a push. I'm pushing out this year strong victorious right so because I declared that thing well guess what God said okay well here's your first test right here here's your first teachable moment as you pushing out these things in these last two months I love God and how he teaches us right and so God allowed that situation to happen so what happened was not really not really realizing that I had I never thought of myself as a petty person but guess what I, I God revealed something to me this week that in me holding on to that grievance right? Um, that was pettiness. 
Who knew? Like, seriously, I never knew. I just never considered myself to be that way. But God showed me, no, that can be that can be categorized as being petty. And I was like, wow. So God revealed this to me. But I, I got it right. So what happened was um, when I reached out to the person and I told them, you know, asked them pleasantly, you know, and everything. But God showed me. He said, Kim, just because you asked them in a nice way doesn't doesn't mean that that was still right. You know, you're a believer in Christ. He's a believer in Christ and he did no harm, no foul. So why are you holding on to that pebble size of grievance? And I said, Lord, I didn't even realize that that's what it was. I was looking at it from the perspective of, you know, I just want my space, right? It's just you do your thing. You over there. Yes, I, I see him all the time because we're in the same circle. You stay over there and I'll stay over here, you know, because when times passed, when the relationship ended and I was treated unfairly in the way that it happened, you know, I had to go. I had to go off and quite real talk. I had to go off and go, as they say, go lick my wounds, so to speak. Right. So I'm over here, you know, months ago when this happened, you know, and had to go off into my own little corner and go heal and lick my own wounds. Well, guess what? As I healed, you know, it felt great to me. It's like, OK, what you know, I, I'm good. You don't, you know, I don't have to deal with this person, not in a bad way for God. Thank you for showing me this person wasn't the one. God bless him, you know, as he moves on in his life. But God had to show me, you got a, you got a pebble size amount of grievance still in you that I want to remove it. He said, remove it. And so I had to remove it. So I reached out to the person again, a second time. And I had to let them know what God had showed me, you know, about myself. I, I, I told them, you know, God had convicted me about it and I apologize, you know, please accept my apology, you know, please forgive me. And um, because I shouldn't have behaved in that way. And then I applied this scripture right now. Have I heard um, back from this individual? No, I haven't. But guess what? It doesn't matter because um, at the end of the day, it's about this. God showed me because I obeyed him and applying this scripture okay <clears throat> and reaching excuse me and reaching out to the person um extending my apology um letting them know you know that I was wrong you know and um God gave great pleasure and delight in me because I obeyed him my forgiveness of God towards me my um delight or his delight and um pleasure in me is not predicated on um, if the person responds or not, it's about my response to God's request. So God said, get rid of the grievance. And so I did. And God showed me that when you have a grievance, it's, it's not just about when it's the plain blatant in your face grievance, even if it's the size of a pebble, even if it's the size of a grain of sand, God said, remove it. He doesn't want you to have any portion of it. That's what this teachable moment is about, about the portion size of it. He said, it doesn't, it doesn't matter the size of it, whether it's the size of a mountain, whether it's the size of a boulder, whether it's the size of a pebble, just like that pebble in your shoe and you walk around and you can feel it. And then you take your shoe off and you shake it out and you look at it and you're like, how could this look? little bitty tiny thing caused so much irritation and grievance on my on the sole of my foot when it's not even that big of a size but guess what once you remove it you feel instant relief well that's what happened when I obeyed God and I removed that grievance you know and 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 asked that person to forgive me and apologize for that you know and so I just shared this teachable moment with you all because as I have learned this lesson I know it's not just for me it's to help somebody else out there if you have any portion size no matter it's a grain of a grain of sand, a pebble, a boulder or a mountain size level of grievance, you need to remove it. God says, remove it, remove that grievance. Even it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter even what size it is. God says, remove it, remove the grievance because it'll help you. It'll strengthen you to help heal you know, whatever that issue was that you had with that person for yourself. And then you're extending strength to that person as well, you know, and guess what? God, guess what? And here's another thing that God revealed to me. And he actually revealed this part of it this morning. He said that when he walked by casually and said hello to you and asked how you were doing, he actually was extending strength into removing grievance for whatever end on his level, you know, that God is dealing with him about. He says, so he actually was the one who first extended just by him being polite and saying hello and asking how you're doing in that casual passing by. I tell you, God's revelation, when he reveals stuff, he says, so Kim, guess what? He actually extended it first. Now I want you to get it right, you know, because he bared up. 
you know, in forgiveness, you know, just by genuinely, you know, saying hello and asking, you know, how you were doing. Real talk, y'all. And these things do happen in, in the Christian community, you know, and so as we work and strive to, no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. He's not perfect. None of us are perfect. But as we strive towards, towards perfect, perfection, yes, these things happen in the Christian, you know, community. And guess what? As we learn how to work and get these things right before God and, you know, to get things in right fellowship with one to another, you know, uh, um, as believers in Christ, guess what? God, he extends his love. He, he extends his grace and his mercy that is new unto us each and every day. And if we just apply those things and make sure we stay in right alignment with God so we can be in right alignment this way with man, you know what? God, God finds pleasure and delight in us in that. And so this is just a friendly reminder as I share this teachable moment. As I learned it, I share it all with you so it can help many of you and all of you out there, you know. And so until my next vlog, everyone, I hope that you have a wonderful day in the presence of our Lord and Savior. And I'll be talking to you and seeing you again soon on my next morsel of empowerment.